Every day, 40,000 students, pupils, employees and pensioners use the public transport of the seaside town Bremerhaven, Germany. 17 different bus lines serve the city and keeping track of connections can sometimes be difficult. Bremerhaven's bus service, the local tourist board and other project partners joined forces to tackle these and other challenges in the European research project EBSF. European bus system of the future. The consortium has designed a demonstrator bus which runs along Route 502 and serves approximately 70% of the city. The main objective was to integrate clearly visible screens which provide the passengers and visitors of the city with a broad range of operational, municipal and touristic information. The demonstrator bus is also equipped with two power connections so that passengers can easily charge their mobile phones or laptops. The bus also provides Wi-Fi so that passengers can check their connections with a special app. Robert Hasse is the general manager of Bremerhaven Transport Association. We made a survey in the final stage of the project and the general feedback was very positive. The public liked both the information displays, which we'd installed in the buses, and also the new seating arrangement was very well received. People with limited mobility now have more space, where they can park their walking frames or wheelchairs. This new interior design has already been taken into account in our latest bus order. To ensure a regular update of information to the media displays, the control unit of Bremerhaven bus was equipped with new software. Each bus can now be tracked and if a disruption happens, the bus driver and passengers can be informed immediately. The information displayed includes both regional news and the actual traffic situation of our buses. It enables us to inform our passengers about sudden disruptions, accidents or other incidents. I think if a disruption happens, and once in a while that's the case, it's very important to keep the passengers informed. Ten bus stops along Route 502 were also upgraded. They now offer info terminals with internet access, where the user can book hotel rooms or buy event tickets. Joachim Schüttler, head of the Bremerhaven Tourist Board, likes the simple handling of the terminals. This is our pilot project, and it is subdivided into two units. Here at the top, all current passenger information is displayed, with the actual bus arrivals in real time and the next departures. And here below, we provide access to different internet portals or contents, where the customer, guest or tourist can directly enter the internet and get what he needs. The info terminals at the bus stops and the information displays in the demonstrator bus and in 15 retrofitted vehicles provide the passengers with a continuous flow of information. The main research area, passenger information, also considered the demographic change. The innovations particularly improve the service quality for hearing and visually impaired passengers. We will integrate the information displays in our complete fleet and the new software which was installed in our control unit, will also persist. This means we will now fit the new information technology in about 50 articulated buses. Whether other features of the demonstrator bus will be installed on the other buses is still in discussion. They include the LED-supported exit and entry lighting and the LED seat notification lights. But one thing is certain, already at this stage, the passengers in Bremerhaven benefit from the Project European Bus System of the future. Some research results have already been implemented, even before the project has finished.